Hi guys, in this video we will create a custom lazy stack also with dynamic text editor as you see when you add the text will be the height dynamic also we can delete it I want to start with explain how this ID work. So to create a custom lazy V stack, I have created two different V stack, left V stack and right V stack inside he stack. I want to divide the screen by two colors, red and green. We'll name the left one zero and the second one will be one. The left face V stack will take only even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And the right one will take only odd numbers 3, 5, 7, and so on. And let's say this view is array of right angles with a different height. The first one will be like 250, 150. And the code will translate the array like this index 0, index 1, index 2 will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the 10. What we do, we do some math and we'll take only the even number and display it to the right V stack, and we take all the odd numbers and display it to the right v stack will be like 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on because this one is 0 is even odd even odd even odd so as you see if we start counting on our view this one is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as you see all the even numbers and the odd numbers on the right v stack i have already created the dynamic text editor so i have created before so you can watch this video and i have created by using this library i will put the link and this is the code on the content view is very simple just scroll view he stack inside the he stack to empty v stack and I have here add button with the empty function and we have here the array of dynamic text editor and the select and show delete action to delete one of them and this one the model have the height start by 38 color text and ID I have here two VStack for the left and right one. On the dynamic text, we should pass in the text on the color on the height. And I want to display all the items inside the text, dynamic text. So for this, we use in for each. And I want to use indices. Indices will conform this array to the numbers, just like this. For example, I want to display number 5, we can say just display number 5 in this array. We need to add dollar signs and an ID. I will name this just index. So I want to display array of dynamic text so we say dynamic and we pass in the text say dollar sign 
So we have here the array of dynamic text on, and the dynamic text have text, color, height. We say the name of the array and the number in text, for example, one, the second one, say index and text. We do the same for the others. Here will be the text height and here I will add in the color. Dot color. But I want only the event number. So we say if index to equal equal zero will display it else not and we do the same for the second v stack but here will be if not equal zero let's create the add button function so i will create a new item from the dynamic text module and add it to this array with dynamics model we pass in the text I want to start with a new text and the color I want every time create a new one will be with a different color randomly on just go with the random color add it over here and after we have created a new item should we add it to this array dot append will be this one so now if we press on the on the plus button as you see it's taking all the view because we use infinity width I press again will take health and so on we need to add padding for the he stack If you run the app on the simulator, you can add multiple text fields, but if you start typing with the crash the app, is something wrong with the simulator. With all text field, do the same. I don't know why. So this why you need to run the app on your physical phone. I have recorded my screen, so as you see, I can add and start texting normally. It's work just fine. Let's create the delete function and here's some comments help you understand what we're doing. So first we need to pass in the dynamic text model. After that we need to go to the array and take the ID. So we say dynamic text dot remove. We need to match the ID if this if is the same ID will delete it. So for the menu I have here the button he stack with the text and image. I need a function for the menu buttons. We need to pass in also a dynamic text model, text item. 
will be dynamic text model. Return us some view inside this function. Return us button. On the label will be just a button with the icon from this one. And for the action, we, we need to know which item we have selected. After that, we show the delete view. After the button, let's add the alert. We pass in here any text. We need to show view. And you pass in the item we have selected. So we need the button, two button, uh, delete and cancel. We add a message. It will be just the text. After that, we need to add a content menu to the VStack. On the dynamic text, we add context menu. We pass in the button. So we have this function. Dynamic text. We say dynamic text array and we pass in the index, the item we have selected. We do the same to others one. Let's run the app on the device. On the device, I'll add some text field, some text. After that, I will delete it. Let's pass this part. So now when I delete one of them, but is no animation. So we need just add an animation. So after the padding, I will add animation to the show delete action. So let's run the app again and see the animations. Now delete one of them. You see there is animation. I was deleting the items and I face a problem. So the app is just a crash because the delete function. So make sure to update the delete function make it inside this batch queue so when we delete we give it a time to delete it from the array so in this way we get no errors